Okay, so now um, you're gonna have this numbers.vtf on your desktop, have your mapping folder open and drag numbers to the material shortcut. If you want, you can go to your material folder and create your own folder for whatever map you're making. Like if you have a crap load of maps and you don't want it to be all unorganized, create a folder, you can call, let's say your map is called um, map, or no, no, let's be more creative, brick house. Click away, and now you're gonna drag your numbers VTF into the brick house folder. Where did you go? Drag it in there, and it's gonna be in your brick house folder under materials. Okay, now we're going to go back to our mapping folder and we're going to open up VTF Edit. Open it up and you're going to go to File Open and you're going to search for your VTF file that you just moved. You can either go to your mapping folder and um, go to your mapping folder and then click on your materials shortcut or you can actually use just go through like my computer, C drive, program files, Steam, all that. It's just easier to just go through the shortcuts so you don't have to do all that. And then go to Brickhouse and select numbers.vtf or whatever the name of your VTF file is. Okay, now you're going to go up to Tools, Create VMT File, and press Create. Um, it's going to save a VMT file in the same exact folder that you created that you move the VTF file. Don't change the name. Make sure it's the same folder. Press save. And now you can close and close VTF edit. Okay. Now what you're going to do is open up your hammer editor. Um, so you can do one or two things. Maybe you're, you already have a file that you've created with a bunch of walls and stuff or you can just create a new one and then do all your necessary things, create a box. Um, that's actually kind of weird, okay. So we create our box, we will view it, um, and then you'll select Shift A or whatever, and you're gonna browse and put in number and, or whatever the name of your thing is, maybe you'll name it something, but make sure um, you can also put in just like brick house, and then that's going to bring up all the files under brick house. Um, our number files, numbers file is here. Yeah, make sure it has a unique name so when you're browsing for it, you can actually find it. Um, double click on it, press apply, and now we have our numbers texture, and it's actually here. So, yeah, you can fit it if you want to, or whatever. Um, press OK, and. I'm going to actually hollow this out so that way we can spawn inside and I can show you that it actually compiles. Um, we'll have a terrorist and then we're going to go to file run map and you're going to compile your map. Um, we'll call it um, texture underscore test or you can name yours whatever. Save it press OK and wait for it to compile. Obviously if you have a more complex map it's going to take a little bit longer to compile but in this case it was very quick for me. I'm going to close my map and now what we're going to do go back to your mapping folder um, and, somewhere else. and you're going to now click on packrat.bat or packrat.jar. I usually just hit bat. Sometimes jar doesn't work for people. It's going to uh, bring up this dialog that says open a map file. It's probably going to take you to the maps folder already. If not, you're going to have to go search for it. You're going to have to go to C drive, program files, Steam, blah blah blah, all the way up until maps. Um, go find your map. So in this case ours is texture underscore um, Test, where to go? Texture underscore test. It's going to bring up this other dialog. Go to auto, 
and it's going to say that found two files on disk or whatever, maybe you have like 10 textures, custom textures, you press add them to, to pack, yes, and now save BSP under file, and you're going to overwrite and press save, and are you sure you want to overwrite? Yes. So now basically what that did is it added your textures to the actual file. If you opened up your map without doing pack rat, it's going to have these purple and black checkerboard textures instead. So now we can pull up our Counter-Strike. Okay, so we're going to go to the console by pressing the tilde press map and then whatever the name of your map is, in, our, in my case texture underscore test. You're going to pull up your map. And then, in my case I only have a tariff spawn point, maybe you'll have somebody else. So yeah, there we go. Look, there's our numbers. Pretty exciting. Um, if you have, yeah, this is the end of the tutorial, but if you do have any questions, I know there's going to be like a million questions since it's kind of complex. Just post the comments, make sure you download everything. If you're having some sort of issue opening the programs, make sure you do have the Microsoft.NET framework. Um, I can't think of any other issues that one would have. Make sure all the folders are in the correct position. Yeah, okay, good luck guys.